ways to solve a problem. Most of you live on the surface of your being exposed to the touch of external influences. You live almost projected as it were outside your own body and when you meet some unpleasant being similarly projected, you get upset. The whole trouble arises out of your not being accustomed to stepping back. You must always step back into yourself. Learn to go deep within, step back and you will be safe. Do not lend yourself to the superficial forces which move in the outside world. Even if you are in a hurry to do something, step back for a while and you will discover to your surprise how much sooner and with what greater success your work can be done. If someone is angry with you, do not be caught in his vibrations, but simply step back and his anger, finding no support or response, will vanish. Always keep your peace. Resist all temptation to lose it. Never decide anything without stepping back. Never speak a word without stepping back. Never throw yourself into action without stepping back. All that belongs to the ordinary world is impermanent and fugitive. So there is nothing in it worth getting upset about. What's lasting, eternal, immortal and infinite that indeed is worth having, worth conquering, worth possessing. It is divine light, divine love, Divine life, it is also supreme peace, perfect joy and all mastery upon earth with a complete manifestation as the crowning. When you get the sense of the relativity of things, then whatever happens, you can step back and look. You can remain quiet and call on the divine force and wait for an answer. Then you will know exactly what to do. Remember, therefore, that you cannot receive the answer before you are very peaceful. Concentrate. If your power of concentration is complete, then there is not a problem you cannot solve. I don't mean arithmetic problems. I mean problems about leading one's life, about decisions to be taken, psychological problems which need solving. There is not one that can resist this power of concentration. And in fact, it is very convenient to take a point. One looks steadily at the point and so steadily that at a certain moment, one becomes the point. One is no longer somebody looking at the point. One is the point. And then, if you continue with sufficient strength and quietness, without anything disturbing you, you may suddenly find yourself before a door which opens and you pass to the other side. And then you have the revelation. Put it before the Lord. You are faced with so-called problem. What should you say? What should you do? How should you act? There is nothing to do. Nothing. You only have to say to the Lord, There. You see, it is like that. That's all. And then you stay very quiet. And then quite spontaneously, without thinking about it, without reflection, without calculation, nothing, nothing. Without the slightest effort, you do what has to be done. That is to say, the Lord does it. It is no longer you. He does it. He arranges the circumstances. He arranges the people. He puts the words into your mouth or your pen. He does everything. Everything, everything, everything. You have nothing more to do but to allow yourself 
to live blissfully.